I want to make we hear it for the Maya people. Yeah. Get up early this morning. Yeah. 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 Maya people. Maya from Blaine. Blaine. Yeah, Maya, Maya from Blaine. Maya from San Antonio. Maya from Otosha. Maya from Hikiti. Maya from Silver Creek. I see ya. Maya from Big Falls there. Look ya. Big up the people that we get up early and work this morning. Yes, Blaine. Transportation, as you know, it costs a lot of money to move these people. Toledo is one of the most depressed, yes. with the highest unemployment. So that's, that's a right. challenge. Yeah. You know how much people we left at trial this morning? We left like two bus loads in trial this morning. We couldn't afford to bring them, right? But people, they're there right now, the protest, right now, the trial. Yeah, they're not. My name is Reyes Chuna. I'm from San Antonio, Toledo District. You're and, uh, not one of the leaders from the village or anything? Well, I'm the leader of the Toledo Ecotourism Association. This is a whole uh, new concept in the Maya villages that we are, the Toledo Ecotourism is actually doing in the villages. We are trying to bring supplementary income to the villages. But, you know, we don't want to you know, don't go and, and, and ask for you know, donations and stuff. But, so we are trying to see how we can develop our own self, you know, our own community. And now, why I'm here is because, you know, I'm... I love Belize. I'm a Belizean. Mm -hmm. And all of my um, father and my great great grandfather are Belizean. So that's why we hear that this border issue is getting um, you know, uh, mess, messed up. So we are now here demanding the government to stop all those incursions. You know, uh, try to use the village uh, people to, to, to monitor those borders. For example, we have the village alcalde that's elected every two years. Two years yeah. They have the village police, police yeah. that are elected the by the village people. The village and these council. are the people that know their boundaries within within each village. And they are the ones that needs to be empowered. There needs to be, you know, uh, some kind of funding to actually tell, support, you yeah. know, support them to, to, to do their work. Because now they are just patrolling the village. They are actually detecting crimes. And that is why we have a safe community in the Toledo district right now, because of our alcalde system. So we need to strengthen that. We need, uh, you know, the government to actually decide to, you know, get those village police, you know, working and, um, you know, getting reports to them. Monitoring the border line. Right here, this... People in the villages. Well, the Guatemala incursion is affecting a lot of people. You know, San Jose, for example, they have been stolen horses already, you know. Uh, uh, actually, there was a guy who actually got killed, you know, get shot. And, and nobody was, was, was uh, arrested for that. So that is why... You know, we are here to demand all yep. these things to, to get we something done. We need justice done. for Toledo. You know, for Toledo. Yeah, yep. justice for Toledo. Sir, exactly. in the past it has been said that the activities of the Belize territorial volunteers actually aggravate the situation for the indigenous people on the ground. Um, has that been your experience? Well, uh, I have been following the, the, the Belize volunteers uh, closely on the, on, the, on the news. And I don't think they have been violating nothing. They are just speaking out their rights, and I think they have the right yes. to actually keep their borders right. secure. Yes. And uh, we don't want right. to give one square inch to no Guatemala. Yes. yes. Uh, open Paki, um, I want to ask Mr. Will. Uh, Mr. Will, do the poachers that we've seen, how many gillnets are there on our Sarstoon, and we see that the poachers drive away and uh, paddle away with tons and tons of all kinds of fish and, and, and shrimp. Do we have any information to lead us to believe that no, not only do they take it across the border, but they sell it to Belizeans on our side of the country? Yep, well, I mean, they sell, they, they sell their produce to whoever is going to buy it. So when Belizean come and they want to buy from them, Belizean also buy from them. Yes. But I also want to point out that all these villages here, Otosha, Dolores, Poite, Halate, Pueblo Viejo, San Vicente, they have brigades or they want to establish brigades to maintain the borderline. So if the BDF don't have the time to do it, those villagers could do it. They used to do it in the days of the British. They used to maintain their own borderline and they want to do it now, but they used to get the support from the British. Now they want to maintain their own borderline. Once again, they need the support from the government of Belize. I want to also ask one last question. How long will the Belize uh, territorial volunteers continue this uh, campaign? And uh, how do we get more Belizeans involved? Belizeans from all over the nation, from the islands, from uh, uh, Placencia. How, how do we continue this uh, campaign? Well, this is just the beginning. Um, 
We've been at this and we will continue to be at this until every Belizean is free to travel within 8867 8, square miles. That's right. And every Belizean out here believes that we should not go to the ICJ. Yep. And we would like to hear from right. each one of those 31 constituencies which one of them support going to the ICJ and which one of them does not support going support to the going ICJ. To ICJ. Yep. Because we need to hear from them. They are elected by the people and the people are demanding answers. Yes. Each one of those 31. Right. We need to hear from them individually the who is going to support to go to the ICJ. Okay, when is our yeah. next when is our okay. next when is our okay. next excursion our to our BTV? When is our next excursion to the BTV? Well we will announce it. We will announce it when the next excursion is. Alright, thank you. Okay.